he's just one of the most unique people I've ever met. Um, and I felt that that way from the beginning. He's just, not just because he's my husband, but probably a huge reason why he is my husband is that he is one of the most passionate people I've ever met about life. Um, positive about everything. Um, always looking for how to get the most out of a moment. What truly drives him, which he reminds me often, is on this couch. Um, he wants to do the best by his family and for his family, and I think he just feels so blessed that he is able to do that. The main piece that warms my heart and where I see him the most excited um, is when he wins. <laughs> and that just happened yesterday, and it happened, um, hi. And it happened the first, I'd say three months, two or three months into his real estate career, he was able to win a listing over very seasoned um, real estate agents that had been doing it for decades, were well known, and they were both in this neighborhood that we live in. My dream, and he shares it, is for me to come home. Um, I work full time. Um, we are hoping in a year that I can come home um, and work with him. So our dream is to work together um, and that I will be managing these three as well, um, but also doing some of, um, you know, some things to assist him and to help him. So the main dream that this is helping us realize, because he always says, you know if I'd stayed in banking, we would not be able to do anything like this. I'm very proud of you. Uh, I think you are doing a fantastic job. From what I have been told, for you to be where you are today has taken a great deal and is somewhat unheard of. Growing up, Eric was always very adventurous, and I remember always looking up to him saying, boy, if I had guts like him. I remember one time we went skiing and there was a big jump, and I said, hey Eric, if you go off that jump, I'll do it too. And then he hit that jump and went flying, and I was like, shit, now I have to do it too. A letter from Dad. Dear Eric, I don't know what you have done, but some centurions, I think it's a club for old people, are asking a lot of questions. They want to know about your childhood. But don't worry, I told everybody that you were a good boy. They also asked questions about your schools. And I fibbed and told them that you were a good student. And I never mentioned that it took you eight years to graduate. They say you sold a lot of houses, but houses can't sell themselves. They need help and you were there for them. Congratulations Eric on your award, your Centurion Award today, and hope you guys have a great time. Hey Eric, it's me, your only sister. Just wanted to tell you I'm proud of you and you've come a long way. Took the risk and followed your dreams. You're a hard worker and I'm confident you will continue to do well. Love you, wish we lived closer. Babe, I am so, so very proud of you. Um, as I've told everybody, I am not surprised you're at where you're at. And I know that you're gonna move mountains going forward. And I'm so excited to do that with you. I love you very much. I appreciate everything you do. Can you say, go, Dad. Can you say way to go, Dad? Go, Dad. There you go. Yeah.